pretty. Look, this is the first day of the rest of your life. It's time to learn to walk again, to talk again, to leave behind where you've been, to cast off past and future when, and focus on now. I mean, really, where are you going anyhow? Where did Noah go for 40 nights? Where did Israel eat for 40 days? Do you think God and Moses just hung out in that cloud and did nothing but pray? Goliath's challenge, David's reign, the spies searching for Canaan, the time to fast, the time to repent, the time to spend with your friends after Lent, the time you spend in the womb before your birth, your time on earth, your time. The boomers think you're too young. Millennials think you're too old. That's why I'm an Xer, and that's why I want to show people why I'm bold. I show them that I'm old and wise beyond my years. I show them that I'm young in here. And I tell them that the 40 extra pounds are just superficial anyway. This is not a time for setting goals. This is a time for achieving them. It's time to blow out 40 candles. Read a new poem, write a new song, pick up a new instrument, make some noise, invent some new toys, make up names for all the rest stops in Illinois, <laughs> learn a new language, study a new religion, buy a book on yoga or the Karma Sutra, and learn 40 new relaxing positions. <laughs> Refuse to be bound to your age. Refuse to be bound to any age. Because this is your time. Three paths lay before you. Two of them are diverging into Robert Frost's yellow wood. And the third path is the path which you will blaze. And for that path, you deserve the praise. Because there are so many ways to celebrate. So many ways to make life great, and so many ways to make life greater. So stop waiting, because this is the first day of the rest of your life. My name is Christopher Samuel. For those of you who are wondering who the hell Christopher Samuel is, I perform under a pseudonym. There are lots of personal reasons why I do so, but the main one is because I oh, can't pronounce my last name. Um, there used to be a guy out here named Brandon Explicit. He used to write a lot of poems, little short poems that I always like to do. Everybody got their fingers snapped in it. Like the finger snaps. This poem is a, is, a, is a haiku called Resolution. I will strive to be brighter, sharper, and to have a clearer picture. Like that? We're in an art studio, so I like to throw this one in here whenever I come in here. This one's called Art. Hanging on the wall, millions of words spread like stars. Yellow, blue, and red. Yeah. <laughs> and that's kind of a visual thing. You guys see red is spelled R E D. And the last one, and I like this one the best. This is my favorite art poem that I wrote. It's called Van Gogh. He cut off his ear to show unyielding love and yield her nagging.